Multi-lane crossings are crossings with more than one lane of traffic in each direction. These crossings are the most challenging, potentially the most dangerous, and have the most variables for consideration. When two guards are stationed at a four-lane crossing, one guard is assigned to each traffic stream. Coordination between the guards results in a smooth crossing. Both crossing guards enter the roadway from opposite curves and take their positions in the roadway, ensuring that all traffic is stopped. One guard initiates the crossing with the children, while the other guard maintains his or her position and students continue walking within the crosswalk. Make sure to keep your stop paddle raised at all times while you're in the street, even after the students have reached the curb and you are returning to the starting curb. If crossing guards have been instructed to use whistles, both crossing guards should use the whistle when entering the crosswalk. If there's a physical median in the roadway where pedestrians can stop, the second crossing guard may need to establish a verbal cue to instruct children to cross the remaining half of the roadway. Be especially aware of drivers turning without looking for pedestrians. If you are a crossing guard posted at a four-lane crossing by yourself, consult with your supervisor to determine where to stand and the appropriate crossing procedure to use for an efficient crossing. You might want to explore using signage to limit right turns on red during school crossing hours or to disallow all right turns on red. A leading pedestrian interval or an exclusive pedestrian interval may be an option at crossings where turning vehicles create challenges for pedestrians. Multi-lane crossings require extra attention, vigilance, and care. You play an important role in your community by helping children cross the street safely on their way to and from school. Follow the guidance given in your training to improve the safety of community members and yourself. Please feel free to contact staff at the New Jersey Safe Routes to School Resource Center at Rutgers University and visit the Safe Routes to School Crossing Guard website for crossing guard resources or to request technical assistance. This video was funded by the New Jersey Municipal Excess Liability Joint Insurance Fund with additional support from the New Jersey Department of Transportation and the New Jersey Division of Highway Traffic Safety with funding from the Federal Highway Administration.